Hi Bruins and Highlanders, welcome to Math Workshop. Yesterday with Ms. Chung, you reviewed different shapes and their attributes. Today we are going to continue talking about shapes, but we are going to talk about 3D shapes. Let me tell you what I mean. Yesterday with Ms. Chung, you talked about shapes like squares and rectangles. Those are called 2D shapes. 2D shapes are shapes that are flat and they have different sides to them. Today we are going to be talking about 3D shapes. 3D shapes have what we call faces and they have different sides. They have the top side, could have a bottom side, and they could also have sides all around. Today we are going to learn some 3D shapes and we will identify some items in our house that could be 3D shapes. When you go to the movies, you could watch the movie regular and that is 2D because it is called two dimension. That means that the movie is flat on the screen. But there is also an option for some movies to be seen in 3D. Raise your hand if you have seen a 3D movie before. Yeah, that's when you put on some glasses and they help you see the movie in 3D, which means that some parts are popping out at you. Today we will be looking at 3D shapes. What are we looking at? Good. So let me show you our first 3D shape that we will be talking about. The first shape that we will be talking about is the cone. What is it? The cone. And the cone is a 3D shape with only one circle and it has an oval face. That means that it is round, it is oval, and it has one point at the bottom. This shape is called a cone. It is a cone. The second shape that I want to talk to you about is the cube. The cube is a 3D shape with six faces. It has six square faces. That means that it has six different sides to it. The next one that we will be talking about is the cylinder. The cylinder is another 3D shape and it has two oval faces that are the same size. And by face, it means that it is a flat side. The sphere is a 3D shape that has no faces. It has no flat sides. That means that it could roll. The rectangular prism is a 3D shape that has six rectangular faces. How many? Six rectangular faces. So I'm going to show you some things that I found around my house and we're going to try to name them and named their 3D shape. So go ahead and put on your 3D goggles on, click them on, and you're going to help me name the following shapes. Let me remind you of what are the shapes that we're looking for. We're looking for the cone, the cube, the cylinder, the sphere, and the rectangular prism. Can you say this one? This one's a little bit hard. Rectangular prism, let me hear you now. There we go. So I'm going to leave these here and these will be your options. This is the first shape. Let's take a quick look and don't shout it out yet. What 3D shape is this? Is it a cone? Is it a cube? Well, I heard some of you say yes. Is it a cylinder? Is it a sphere? Is it a rectangular prism? Let's count how many flat sides there is. Ready? The top is one, the bottom is two, three, four, five, and six. There is six square faces. Something that's important is that each side is a square. Each side is even. So this is a, yes, good job. This is a cube. I'm going to put the label cube on it. Let's look for our next shape. 
Let's take a look at this. Is this a cone? Do we see one oval part? I see an oval part, but is there a point at either end? No, so it's not a cone. Is it a cube? Does it have six sides? Six faces? Nope. Is it a sphere? Yes, it has two equal oval parts. This is a cylinder. It is a cylinder. Say it with me. It is a cylinder. Good job. Are you ready for our next shape? What shape is this? Is it a cone? Is it a cube? Well, it does have six shapes, but are they square? It, is each face a square? No, this is a rectangular prism. Let's count each of the faces, ready? One, two, the back. Three, four, five, and six. So there is six rectangular faces. This makes it a rectangular prism. Good job. And let's try one more. Ready? What shape is this? Is it a cone? Yes, it has an oval side on one side, but unlike the cylinder, it doesn't have another oval side. It has a point. So this is called a cone. Good job. And we have one more. What is the shape that we still need? Yes. We need the Sphere. The sphere has no flat sides. It has no flat faces. So that means that this one could roll. And usually you will see these like any of the balls that you have around your house. So this is called a, a sphere. Good job, Bruins and Highlanders. Now it's going to be your turn. You are going to do a scavenger hunt around your house and you are going to look for different shapes that are 3D shapes and you're going to complete your chart finding all of the 3D shapes. So don't take off your 3D glasses just yet because you're going to go around your house. Let me show you how you're going to do the problem set by yourself. So this is the problem set. It says... Go on a scavenger hunt for 3D shapes around your house. Look for objects that will fit the chart below. Try to find at least three objects for each of the shapes. So the first shape is the cube. I need to go around the house and I need to look for something that has the 3D shape of a cube. I found one earlier. This is my makeup. So I could draw this in the box and then I could write makeup. Let me show you what I mean. Since I found one, I drew it in and then I wrote in the bottom makeup. Now I need to find two more things around my house that are cubes. I don't see another thing right here, but I do see something that is a 3D shape. <coughs> I have this on my desk. What is this called? What shape is this? I see one flat side, another oval side. What 3D shape is this? This is a cylinder. So now I would draw the cylinder and those are my computer wipes. So I'm going to write computer wipes. 
and then you could color it once you have your whole chart ready. So now it's your turn. Put on those 3D glasses and look around your house for 3D shapes. I can't wait to see what you come up with. Don't forget to tell your parents to send us any pictures of your work when it is completed. Off you go.